What is up, people? Today we are talking about exactly how long it will take to hit max level in Ashes of Creation, and where this compares to other MMORPGs, along with the different ways that you can level your character. But before we get started, it's been a long time since I've had to say this, but there are 85% of you who watch my videos and are not subscribed. So, you know, you could just... Just saying. Anyways, a while back, Intrepid stated that it would take roughly 45 days of playing the game 4 to 6 hours a day to hit max level, aka 180 to 270 hours of playtime, if not more depending on the pace you set in the game, which is a hefty amount of playtime to hit max level, especially if you are a casual player. But for you hardcore MMO players, this is probably a walk in the park. There is also rested XP in taverns, which will play into this as well, along with XP debts from death. But for comparison, in WoW retail, without a boost, it takes about 20 hours to hit max level. WoW Classic was probably in the 200 hour range, and New World you can do so in about 100 hours. Intrepid even commented recently on this saying that since this was stated, they have not changed their plan on the leveling time, but they will be taking feedback in Alpha 2. But as I've stated before, Ashes of Creation isn't exactly built for the casual player, so I imagine if anything this number would go up, not down. But don't stress about it yet because we still have a long way to go before release and this could possibly change. As for how to level, well the max level in Ashes of Creation is 50 and it's said that leveling won't follow a traditional linear path. You can gain XP through PvP, PvE, exploration, the artisan system, quests, and events, and all of these activities will grant you various amounts of XP depending on what you do. There will also not be specific leveling zones as you are used to. This will be more based on the nodes and the roads around you. The plan is for the closer you are to a node, the lower level and the safer you will feel. This applies to roads as well, and if you stick to the roads, you will find lower level level mobs, but the further you go from civilization and off the path, the higher level mobs you will encounter. And as the node levels up, the ratios will change, essentially making the higher level nodes a more dangerous area to adventure in. So if you are a lower level player, you'll probably want to stick near some vassal nodes instead. So if you're a lower level player, you'll probably want to stick near some vassal nodes instead of the metropolises. This doesn't mean that it's completely safe next to lower level node walls though, as there will be elite monsters that wander around the world and aren't tied to a specific area. Intrepid is out to make leveling a fun experience, trying to avoid the traditional grindy and repetitive quest lines, making each quest more unique, not feeling like you have to go kill 15 boars every other level. The different types of quests should really play into this as well, as there are narrative quests that will focus on the story of the world and won't contain any filler content tied into them. These story arcs will be slightly different based on the server you are on and node development, as different servers will have different narratives based based on how the player chooses to progress, which can change up the perspective of the story, based on player standpoint, culture representation, and based on which nodes get developed unlocking various narratives. There is also event quests that pop up when certain world events are triggered, such as node sieges, monster coin events, narrative events, PvP events, and more, essentially giving you fresh quests to the player every time something new is leveled on the server, really preventing from that stale leveling experience a lot of players try to rush through to get to the endgame content. So even if you decide to level up alts on the same server, the first time you play through will probably be different than the second time you play through because the servers are going to change and progress. It's not just about your character level though, like most MMOs, every time you level up, you will gain skill points. These points can be used to spec into skill trees to unlock or increase the ability of active and passive abilities. There will also be weapon skill trees separate from the player for you to level up as well. And when you hit level 25, you will unlock your secondary class archetype, which is what will define the class that you are playing as. Once this happens, you can augment your primary skill set based on your main archetype with the effects of your secondary archetype, which can fundamentally change the way these abilities work. Just remember though that you don't have to quest your way through 1 to 50, you can break it up with crafting, PvP, along with dungeons and raids and other events, giving you a large variety to your progression. And remember that all actions you do that gain XP will also gain XP for the node you're leveling up in to help it to the next stage. Although there are many ways for a player to progress, that doesn't mean that they will all level you at the same speed. I imagine depending on what you are doing may be quicker or longer, but that hasn't been confirmed or denied 
by Intrepid, and we'll probably learn more about this in Alpha 2. What are your thoughts on leveling in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.